hello guys yes shivli and you are welcome to my kitchen today i'm going to show you a very delicious recipe of fish curry with chickpea lentils it's a very easy and simple recipe but super delicious to eat don't forget to try this so guys let's see the recipe at first i have taken one cup of chickpea lentils and soaked them for about three to four hours and after that i washed them properly now we need to pressure cook them so i'm taking a pressure cooker and adding the lentils into the pressure cooker after adding the lentils we need to add some salt and some turmeric powder so about half teaspoon of salt and one four teaspoon of turmeric powder and now we need to add some water the water quantity should be about three times of the quantity of the lentils now we need to cover the pressure cooker and put it to cook on medium heat until 3 to 4 whistles. Let's put it to cook and do the rest of the process. So guys I have taken about 700 grams of fish, wash them very properly and now we need to marinate them. So we need to add some salt and turmeric powder. Remember the quantity of salt you are adding in the pressure cooker and in the fish. So now I am adding uh, about half teaspoon of turmeric powder and about one teaspoon of salt to marinate the fishes. We need to mix everything very well. We need to coat all the pieces with the salt and the turmeric. So it's done. Let's leave it for about 10 to 15 minutes and after that we'll go for frying. After 10 to 15 minutes, I have taken a frying pan and turned the heat on, adding some cooking oil in the pan and spreading it nicely. After the oil is heated well, we need to add the fish pieces. So it's nicely hot now. The heat should be on uh, medium to high. I am adding all the pieces one by one in the pan. After adding, we need to wait for about 2 to 3 minutes on medium to high heat and after that we need to flip them. Now I am flipping them. Flipping like this, we need to fry both of the sides. You may fry hard but I am not frying so hard. It's little soft fried and it's done. I am removing the frying pan from the heater. And in the meantime, let's check the chickpea lentils, if they are cooked or not. The lentils are very nicely cooked as you can see guys. So, let's keep it aside. And now I have taken a pan and turned the heat on, adding some cooking oil in the pan. Let the oil heat well and after that, I am adding a half teaspoon of cumin seeds, half teaspoon of mustard seeds, two to three bay leaves. Let all the spices crackle well and after that we need to add the onions in the pan. So now I am adding uh, two medium sized onions finely chopped. We need to fry them until a light brown color. The heat should be on medium now. The color has started to be brown, so now I am adding some ginger garlic crush. I crushed them, but you may take the paste, there is no problem. I have taken about 1 tablespoon full of ginger garlic. And now we need to fry it until the raw flavor of ginger garlic is gone. After that we need to add the tomatoes. I have taken one big sized tomato finely chopped, added it. Mixing a little and after that we need to add some salt and spices. While adding salt, we need to remember that we added salt in the fish and the cooker. So don't add too much salt. I am adding about 1 teaspoon of salt. After that, we need to add some spices. Half teaspoon of turmeric powder. 1 teaspoon of coriander powder. Red chili powder according to taste. 1 teaspoon of Kanda Lasun Masala. It's actually a Maharashtrian spices mixture. If you don't have it, then skip it. There's no problem. I'm adding a little quantity of water to avoid burn from the bottom. Mixing it well. After that, I'm going to add some garam masala too. 
I am going to add about half teaspoon of garam masala now and half teaspoon more at the end of this recipe. So now I am adding about half teaspoon of garam masala. Mixing it again. Now I am covering the pan for about 3 to 4 minutes on medium to low heat. And after that, the spices are done. So now we need to add some water. Not too much water. This is the dish in which I marinated the fishes. So this is the spice water. I am washing it and adding some water. And I am going to add some more water. We don't need to add so much water this time. Only a little quantity of water. Because we are going to add the boiled chickpea lentils also. So now I am adding about half teaspoon of sugar. Before adding the fishes, if you add a little quantity of sugar in the curry, the fishes won't break at all. We need to bring the water to a boil and after that we need to add the fishes. So here are they. I am adding them one by one. I think some more water is needed, so I am adding a very little quantity of water more and adding the rest of the fishes. After adding fishes, don't stir the curry violently. Stir it very carefully and wait for about 5 to 6 minutes. You may cover the lid. And after 5 to 6 minutes, we need to add the chickpea lentils, boiled lentils, of course. We will add the water as well. After adding the lentils, we need to add excess water as needed. The water quantity should be according to your choice, how thick or how thin you want your gravy to be. I am adding a very little quantity of water and it is perfect for me. Now I am covering the pan for about 5 to 6 minutes or until the consistency is according to our choice and now it's very nicely perfect i think let's check the salt add more salt if needed mine is perfect at the end of this recipe we need to add some garam masala about half teaspoon and some fresh coriander leaves finely chopped after adding coriander leaves we need to boil the curry for about 1 minute and after that our curry is ready So guys, let's turn the heat off and serve the curry hot. Guys, this curry is super delicious to eat especially with boiled rice. But you may enjoy it with roti or chapati as well. It's super delicious to eat. Everybody will love it. So, try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to share your experience with me. Hit the like button guys if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye. Take care.